Yay. I'm like dancing. It's fun. I got my disco ball here. Oh my gosh. Happy Monday. It's been a while since I've been on a Monday, but it's celebration day. So, hey, first off, thank you guys for being here. My name is Charlie Grace. And today is like a twofer. It's like a birthday celebration, 1 million view celebration. There's lots of things going on. I know people were su suspecting me to be on a Monday. I'm normally on Tuesday because Tuesdays at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I'm always on. We do some really cool things. Uh, but today's going to be more fun. My partner in crime, Miss Rosie Bell, is here. We're hanging out. She's uh, looking for her bone apparently today, which is fun. But we're going to get caught up on some things. Just want to let you know a couple of things. Number one, if you give a super chat, it's going to go straight to our smile fund. So we do appreciate that. Our smile fund is what essentially we use to pay it forward and help other people in our community. And that's always a nice thing. So that's really, really cool. And uh, we've got some announcements to make and lots of giveaways today. So I can't wait to do all this fun stuff. So uh, we're just going to give a little time, let some people keep rolling in, see what's going on. I know I know that we had some friends here already. Our Thin Blue, oh, hello, Rose is like shaky shake. Uh, Thin Blue Lane was in already saying happy birthday. So thank you to Thin Blue Lane. We used to, woohoo, we used to rock the Thursday nights together. Um, Go, little love goes out to Bill and Nancy. So thank you so much for being there. I see Deborah is here. Hey, hello. Big double celebration. Woohoo. One million views and birthday. Go Charlie Grace. Well, thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I sort of want to apologize. I hate to say this. I had a serious problem last Thursday or last Tuesday. Um, we had some electrical issues. So we're going to make it up. We had a, um, a guest scheduled for last Tuesday. We're going to have to do a follow-up, but things happen. Things happen. You just got to roll with it, right? Got to roll with it. Get her better. Happy birthday and congrats on the 1 million views. Oh, thank you so much. I'm just, I'm in this huge th thing of gratitude. I got to tell you, I am so, so grateful, happy, and excited um, that we've been able to do all this together. Really, really cool. And speaking of doing it together, here's my buddy Van Life with Gina. Oh my gosh, girl, I'm telling you, um, I remember starting this and I remember coming on your show and it's, it's been a thing. <laughs> It's been a real thing. So um, it's really been fun. And I appreciate you very, very much. And all the positive, you know, just once again, this community has been fantastic. So really, really happy. I got to be a part of it. How cool is that? There's, she, there's Oh, there's Tommy. Hey, she devil. How are you? Oh, my goodness. She's like, happy birthday. Yay. Do the birthday thing. Congrats on the views. It's very exciting. It really is. I, you know, I sort of knew someday. You just didn't know when. So uh, it's it's a thing. It's really a thing. Yeah. Hey, we're saying hi. Hey, get her better. Love seven. I just love that name. Happy birthday and congratulations on the 1 million views. That's a big accomplishment. And well deserved. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Really, it's all about the dog. I did nothing. She posts. She does all the stuff. She's the editor. Uh, she does a lot of the video. I'm just here. I'm just, I don't know what I do. She does all of it. Rosie's, Rosie's there. There's Gord. Happy birthday and happy 1 million views. Got my party hat on. I had a hat on. I don't know where it went to. It's what we'll, we'll call it another day. I got the disco ball going and uh, I got a little Merida. Someone said I look like the Disney princess Merida. And someone gave me a little, um, one of those little pop figurine things. I think it's hilarious. So love that. Love that. Um, yep. Get a raise. Like, Hey, Gina, my cat sister. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everybody's saying hi. Well, um, let me get some, Oh wait, can Rosie please teach my Dry said to edit. Oh, you know what? Let me tell you what. Um, best editing dog ever. Um, she's fantastic. She has Final Cut Pro. She knows how to transition. She's a little picky on the music thing. I got to tell you, she's a little, you know, she likes the transitions to be a little so so. So you got to let, let that perfectionism go. You know, just got to be in the moment. Got to let, got to let it flow. Always fun. She's, she's a hoot. Um, so let me get caught up with you guys and tell you what's been going on because I haven't had a chance to talk to you in so long. Oh my gosh. Whew. So as you can see, I'm in Studio A here in Alabama. Very exciting. Uh, came back for a couple things, taxes, birthday, family, it's just stuff like that. Really fun. Um, Rosie has to go to the VET. I can't say it too loud because she'll see what's going on. She's getting a pot of cure this week as well. Some, you know, shots uh, for her yearly exam. And that's important. So if you travel with a pet, got to get the rabies vaccine, got to check for heartworm, got to do all that good stuff. So just, it's nice to have a doctor you come back to and, and, and do all the good stuff. So that's, that's really cool. Um, so we're going to do that. And then I got some doctor stuff too. So, you know, yay me. Yay. Okay. Gotta love it. Just smiling, smiling through it. Gotta love it. But um, so back and this past week, I got to do some fun things for my birthday week. I got to chase waterfalls. I got to go take some pictures of waterfalls. So Brie, watch out. I'm coming for you, girl. Um, a friend of mine was in town. 
very exciting and got to take some pictures and go some places and, and places I've never been before actually in Alabama, which is nice. And, um, you know, just take pictures and hang out and have a good time. So that's, that's always a good time. We are on Facebook and we're on, on uh, YouTube today. Just want to let those people know uh, as you're watching us on either platform, because you can go over and you can also type in the chat and I can see it on both sides, which is really nice. We've got moderators here. We've got things going on. So um, always a good time. But let's do some, uh, we're going to give it, we're going to do some giveaways. We're going to do our first giveaway in about 10 minutes. And then we're going to talk about, oh gosh. I don't even know where to begin, guys. We've had so many, so many big things this year. Um, I, I can't even begin to talk about the really cool things from the merch to the hats to um, we now have uh, we've because of what's going on now. We've got our million views. I officially people asked me about this, and I said, you know what? I'll consider it. I, I've I've held off on this for a long time, um, just because of the amount of work and the effort that things do. I go to a lot of meetups a year, a lot of meetups a year. And I really enjoy going to meetups because I get to see you and I get to see some things. But some people said, hey, would you be willing to do some meet and greets? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Um, and would you be willing to do like memberships so we get some extra stuff behind the scenes? I'm typically pretty transparent on that stuff anyways, but I do have a lot of behind the scenes I don't share that are really good tips and tricks and some other things. So right now, today is the first day that I'm offering YouTube memberships. Now, they're not going to break the bank. I promise, guys, if you want to do them, that's great. And if you don't, that's fine, too. I will still always be your friend. But I'm going to tell you how we're going to use the money and what we're going to do with it. I have been dreaming, and I mean dreaming, of building a van. So we're going to build a van together. And I'm excited about this. This is going to be a, a digital nomad, female, glamping van for pets extraordinaire. I have been interviewing Lots of different companies, and and of course we know some great builders. We've got Johnny. We got we got all these people around. Um, but I've got some very cool ideas on what I want to do with this, and I've been just just researching, researching, researching. So within the next two years, we're going to do this. This is going to be really fun. We're gonna we're gonna make the most amazing van, and we're gonna take it to shows, and we're gonna show people what's going on. And I think we've really got. I think you know we're gonna find something really neat on this whole process. So that's how we're gonna use the money on those memberships. But the first membership is gonna be. Uh, pretty simple, pretty much like all, all the other memberships. But the second one, I'm actually going to do um, give you guys, of course, the videos first, but you're also going to have meet and greets and we're going to do some campouts together. So I'm going to let you know where I'm going to be in certain places. And if you want to either come boondocking with me or if you want to uh, get a campsite by me, we can talk about it and we'll give you that information. So I'm really excited about this stuff. This is really cool. All right. So oh, there she is. Oh my gosh, Diana. Hey, Diana, how are you? Happy birthday. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's so sweet. And there's my friend Gracie and Jacques. Speaking of a cool van, I like Gracie's van. That's really cool. Happy birthday, CG. Aw, thank you so much. You're so cute. Hello, roomies. That's right. Say <laughs> everybody. There's my buddy, the broken nomad, Matt. Howdy, y'all. Speaking of someone building a van, he's been working on his van. It's been looking pretty, really awesome. I got to tell you, he's been sending pictures of like, you know, the progress and stuff. So I can't wait for y'all to see this. It's going to be really, really neat. Very cool. Gator Bear's like, howdy, Gracie and Jack. There you go. And he's like, Keela, Keela, yay. He's like, hello, Kevin. <laughs> so much fun. So anyway, so memberships, that's number one. Putting it out there, gone to YouTube, not doing Patreon, just doing YouTube. I'm going to make it really simple for everybody. Um, just because Let's just keep it on one platform, guys. Let's just try to make, make our lives easier and, and move on from there. So that's one. Number two, um, I have three things that I have a video I'm putting out of three things that I'm adding to the van. So a lot of people buy, you know, pre-made campers, pre-made vans, pre-made RVs, and then they sort of tweak them to make them what they want. I'm going to show you all the tweaking that I'm doing on this because I've added some really big things and I'm adding some really big more things because now that I've done my two month Florida trip, um, I really can see what I need from energy to keeping the insects out to making it more comfortable, lots of things like that. So that's going to be a really big video coming out. And I'm really, really excited about this. Oh, here we go. He's already asking. I want the dad hat. I know. Hold on. I got to swing back this way to get, because I know they're hiding somewhere. Where are they? Aha! Dun, dun, dun. These are the new hats, guys. Every day's adventure. It's a leather patch. They are a dad hat. They're not a trucker hats. That's right. They've got the nice little thing here. So they are a low profile for those of you who like the low profile. I'm more of a big, big hat person, but we are going to be given some of these away today, which is fun. 
So I've got a friend down the basement. I want to bring up really quick, guys. So um, yeah, let's bring on a friend. Is this hey, girl. Where, hey, is this where the party's at? Am I in the right address? Absolutely. Sweet. <laughs> What's up? How are you? I'm good. I come. I come in to, to say happy birthday. To come up here Aww. to say happy birthday. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Well, as long as we're not singing, I'm okay. Oh, I'm not singing. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No. No, no. You don't want me to sing. No, it's always fun. Well, um, do you want to play a game with me? You want to have some fun? I like games. Okay. I like games too. I've been thinking yeah. about this. Do we yeah. want to do, I got to think about this because we've got a couple of easy ones and we got a couple that are more like difficult. Do you want to go for an easy or something difficult? I get accused of being easy quite often. Wait, but are we talking about something else? Maybe no. Something. I don't. I think I think we're okay. I think we're fine. I think we're gonna do like like I, we had special requests to do like a little bit of this or that. Um, do you, and and it's pretty simple. It's one of those you pick this or that. What do you think? Okay, we can I'm do good. that one. Okay, guys, do we're gonna do it in the chat too, so everybody can do this. Hold on a second. Let me get the setup. It's all that uh, I love that yeah. little rock and roll thing going on here. Okay, yeah. guys, this is really easy. So if, for you guys who want to play at home, always a good time. You guys get to write down which one you think we're going to do this or that. Here we go. Here's your first option. Would you, I was going to say, would you rather, um, do you want a five-star campground or a five-star restaurant? Which one would you select, Gina? I'll take the restaurant. I'll just camp in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking the same thing. <laughs> Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I had a I had a prime rib dinner and I boondocked to the parking lot. It was nice. Delicious. Nice. That's perfect. That way I could have a drink and not have to drive. Yeah, exactly right. right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's JMC Squared. Hey, thanks for being here. We're going for the restaurant. There we go. Uh Bruggman was like, give me that boo. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I I love that. It's funny. You guys are hilarious. Uh restaurant. It's about time now. It says campground. See? You know, sometimes those five star kids. Now, have you? Here's the question. This sounds really like a crazy thing to say out loud. Have you been to a five star campground? No. Okay. I don't think okay. so. I don't know. It's okay. Maybe. I went to one and I got to admit, it freaked me out a little bit. Was it different? Really? <laughs> okay. So, you know, first off, number one, everything's level when you pull up. That was pretty nice. Let's go with the basics. Okay. Concrete right. pad, really nice. Like that. They take your trash out. They have what? happy hours. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. They wow. have tiki bars. Everything. Everything. At, at your campsite, they have hammocks. They have a big egg machine that you can like do your smoking. They have tiki huts with like TVs in them. It's insane. It's wow. absolutely. It's really cool. It's wow. really, really cool. I love this. Wow. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, Stanley. Well, I've, here. I've, hey. I've only been to one five-star restaurant. It was a French restaurant. But, you know, it's kind of like, like I said, I'm easy. I was joking. But my first date, the, the little kid on the street wanted to take me to McDonald's. He brought his banana seat bicycle and put me on the handlebars and we rode to McDonald's. Best date I ever had. I like that. I like that. That's perfect. That's it. That's, that's all you need, right? That's all you need. I love this. Uh, love, love 7 says Fort Wilderness Disney is a five star in our opinion. And I've never been there. That's on my list, too. That's on my list just to check out. I'm not a huge Disney person. You know, it's okay. But like, if you want to go see the big rat, it's it's all you. Oh, Mickey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of, he's kind of a troublemaker. Yeah. Just a little, just a little. All right, guys, let's, let's go to another one. Let's, this was just your warm up, you know, just to get you thinking, see what's going on. James C. Squared says, I love a good state park. I do too. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. This is, this is a toughie. If you had to choose between sweet or savory, so like candy or bacon or something, you know, like appetizer-ish. Which would you choose? Bacon Gina? wrapped candy. Oh, I <laughs> I have to choose one. I'll go with bacon. Bacon, bacon. Yeah, yeah I like I like me some maple bacon. Ma ma I can't talk about maple. Mass do it. Maple bacon maple donuts. <laughs> oh, I've had those from Krispy Kreme. Makes one so good. Good. You know what's really good, and you guys are going to laugh at me. I can't eat this anymore, but 
my daughter used to like Pop-Tarts and how she wanted it was a strawberry Pop-Tart with bacon on it. Dude, it mm. tastes like a bacon strawberry donut. That'd yeah. be interesting. That would be yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay. I so Tommy says both. Stanley says sweet. Okay. Broken Emmett says both. Diana says sweet, but Brad's very savory. I could see that. Uh, uh, Gracie, there we go. Here we go. Travel trailing is like chocolate covered bacon, which gourd is amazing. If you've bacon, never had it. Bacon is the kind of thing that if you put Jason Momoa on one bed and bacon on another bed, I couldn't choose. I'd have to squeeze the bed together. It would be hard. I'm right there with you, sister. I'm right there. <laughs> I'm just I like some bacon. Who could you put Momoa between the bacon? Just saying. yeah, what a bacon sandwich. Ooh, yes. There we go. Yes. That's 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 one thing right here. Things along the lines uh, I do. Very good. Oh, I love this. Bacon cheese bread. I could do without this. Oh, there you go. Bacon cheese bread. That's pretty good. Sorry, Stanley. Stanley's getting hungry. Sorry about that, man. Uh great minds think alike. There you go. Me and Gina. Uh-huh. And Deborah's like, uh, oh, Gina's lying. We all know she'd take Jason. Ah! Uh, they'd have to they'd have to be pretty strong to make it where I didn't get both. They'd have, they'd have to, I think I could take most people in that situation. I love this. All right, guys. Hey, listen, this is gonna sound weird because we're gonna have to do a pause because I've made people promises on this. Um, we're gonna do a giveaway. It's already giveaway time. I'm like, I'm ready. Let's do this. We're gonna do it like three times today. Here we go. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna do a giveaway. And Gina gets to pick the word. Oh, I like that one. What do you want? What word do we want to have these guys write in the chat? Uh, Jason Momoa. Two words. How about we just do Jason? Jason. Okay, Jason. Right. Because I think the Momoa will kill them. Right. Yeah. I think that that'll be a little tougher for him. So um, if your name is Jason, you are excluded from this, this prize. Sorry. If your name is Jason Momoa, uh, you are expected to be at my house next hour. What? You're at what? Whoa. Calm down. Hold up. I will, I will bring you, I will warm him up for you. I will say, I got okay. this girl. I'm, <laughs> all like right. your, I'm like your wing girl. I got this. I got it. All right. Oh, look at all those Jasons typing in there. Woo. Woo. Make it a girl. Get in the vapors. Okay. Love this. All right. This is cute. So um, what we're going to give away on our first giveaway, which is going to be really fun. And everyone keeps asking, everybody wants the new hat. So um, this is going to be really easy. We're going to give away the new hat this time, which is fun. You can only get the new hat on giveaways. Or if you come to a meetup right now um, and get one that way. So that's the only way you can get the new hat, which is really cool. And let me tell you what, it was really fun trying to carry these hats to Florida in a van. You know, when you don't have a lot of room, it's a thing. <laughs> Be bacon, Jason Momoa tea sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. BJMT. Yep. That's, that's what we need. That's exactly right. And, and Grace is like, I taught Jason before Gene even said his name. <laughs> all right guys uh let's let's just let's play this we got a level we're gonna give it one more second and we're gonna draw really quick um no not jason i know you guys are gonna misspell this thing i love this okay let's do a drawing here we go we're gonna draw let's have some fun who's gonna be no whammies no whammies no whammies da -bum -bum. <gasps> jmc squared there you go nice. congratulations nice. Nice. Very cool. Congratulations. Okay. So here's how this works, guys. Um, you have to email me, preferably do it like really soon. You got 10 days after 10 days, the, the prizes go back in the pot. Uh, email me at contact at charliegraceadventures.com and uh, we'll get your prize mailed out. So I'll need your name, address, or at least where you want it shipped to. Um, and we'll go from there, which is really cool. And the nice thing is um, the hats are one size fits all. Just saying. Trust don't me, you don't want to go to the pot. Oh, I love this. Love this, love this, love this. Okay. All right. Let's get back to our game, guys. Here we go. Here we go. This is fun. Okay. Sweet or savory. We just we discovered we have a lot of baking loving people here. Yeah. Um, and Broken Dumb, it says, after 10 days, the hat gets sent to me. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Calm down. Calm down, Kevin. Have you seen his have you seen his legs? I have. Remember, don't you remember he danced for one of my <laughs> lives, I think. He has nice calves. He's got nice boom moves. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah nice we can, you know, I'm just saying, there we go. Yeah. <sighs> All right, here we go. Next one. Ooh, there's a movie coming out. Godzilla or King Kong? Which one, guys? What are we thinking? I'm more into King Kong, I think. Yeah, Kong. Kong, Kong, Kong just sounds better. What's up, Kong? 
Yeah, it just sounds better. <laughs> Chong. 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 I don't know. I have a thing about my, my, um, I've got some kids in the hood here that have these really huge plastic dinosaurs. And so when uh -huh. I went to go out in the van the other day, I swear to God, there was like a stegosaurus staring me down. Sort of scared me. <laughs> I was like, oh, dear God, what do we have? It's like a little, uh, what's what's that movie, Jurassic Park? Like it's it's Bama yeah. edition. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I, I'd rather face a giant gorilla than a giant T-Rex. Good point. Good point. Chasing America's here. Hey, good to see you so much. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, King Kong, King Kong. Coffee Nut says Godzilla. Love that. Uh, King Kong, Godzilla. Uh, Grace is like, uh, neither. I don't think so. Donkey Kong, King Kong. Oh, it's just don no, not Donkey Kong. Okay, guys, we're not talking video games. Jeez. <sighs> Although we do have a place in town called Pints and Pixels. Pints and Pixels. What is it? It's a it's a, a retro video game place. It has I saw Donkey oh, no. Kong and Frogger and all those cool things, nice. and you can drink. Well, that's I'm even better. better. That's yeah, pretty good. Not not a, not a bad thing. I'm just saying. Okay, guys, looks like uh, Donkey Kong wins this one. Okay, I'm going a little old school. I'm. This the question really is: Do you watch more things on your phone or on your TV? Mm. Well, does an iPad count as my phone? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, more. I I mean, I watch stuff on my phone too, but mostly on the iPad and phone. I don't have a TV actually. Yeah. My TV in my van is so busted. <laughs> My <laughs> iPad sits right in this little thing right here when I'm laying down and I watch TV on it. <laughs> that's that's what I, I like. Do you have that little pillow that you can prop yeah, it on? I have that pillow too. Yeah. I love that pillow. Yeah. I love that pillow. Whoever made that thing is like the most genius thing. Yeah. I just and when I'm else. not using it for that, it works good for a pillow to put under my arm to prop my arm up. <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing. Um, yeah. No, I, 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 in the van, I use my little, my TV that was installed in the van. I, I kid you not. This is important. I've had that van for a little over almost going on three years now it's rattled so much that the wires have broken the case has come off i've, I've electrical taped it back together <laughs> yeah just... I, have, uh, I, I yeah i don't even have a tv in my band everything i watch everything on the ipad yeah I, yeah yeah I'm, I'm with you on that one okay so we get phone phone almost always ipad more people on iphone uh phone and nine percent it's on youtube i believe or, or on youtube i see that uh i don't own a tv well there you go that answers that one phone uh mostly in my computer totally get that i've had a phone that tv is literally held together by it. yeah it literally is held well it's actually electrical tape but it's true he's seen my tv before <laughs> yes <laughs> and it's so sad it's like you should just put it out of its misery because it just yeah <laughs> i gotta get that thing it's bad <laughs> all right here we go Ooh, here's fun a DIY camper or a factory built? If you had all the money in the world and you could buy a factory built or you had all the money in the world and you could do a DIY, which one would you do? DIY. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. If I had all the money in the world, I would take my, my van to the diesel brothers and have them convert it to a diesel and make it just bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's one thing that you, knowing that you, knowing what you know, um, What's one kind of DIY thing that you really, really, really wish you had? In the van? Yeah. Um, a bed that is on, uh, like, it's on, like, a lift system. So when okay. you're not in it, it's lifted up. And yes. And, like, like, a couch underneath it. I think those are sick. I've only seen a couple of them. So I looked into that. I was, I was very, for about six months, I was like, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now yeah. I'm really in, now I'm really into the Murphy bed. And I'll tell See, you why. Yeah, the Murphy bed would be second choice for sure. If, if the one that lifts up, the problem is then it makes it really like weird to be underneath it and you lose all that cabinet space. If you do the Murphy bed, you get more cabinet space and you can do more. Th it's just, I don't know. Right yeah, now I'm in love with the bed. the bed up. You could have little pictures on that or something, you know, to decorate. Yeah, yeah it's it's way cool. The, the one of the videos I did from VanFest, this kid named Joe, I shouldn't say kid, but he's a kid. Um build a van he took him two years to do and it really was a fantastic layout he did a really good job so yeah i was impressed with that one um looks like diy is winning everywhere wants a diy look at this guys yeah if you want it the way you want it you know exactly you right. the money yep yep it's true i love this uh diy as long as it's not me doing the work <laughs> yeah right <laughs> yeah 
My there long is me sitting on this cabinet, sitting on the table watching. Okay, yeah, put that there. <laughs> you know, yeah. Exactly right. De Deborah's like, I love the Murphy bed. Tons of storage and garage space. Jerry boy. Oh my gosh. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're having fun over hey, overseas. Jerry, There's my, my Scottish buddy. Uh, any bed that I don't have to put together every, every day. Okay. That's a thing. Yeah. Everyone who loves those couches in the back and they've got to make it, they got to make their bed every day or they got to do this or got to do that. It gets old real quick. It gets old real quick. Uh, love said once factory. Well, cause you guys are like airstreams. Airstreams are so cool. I totally get that. Yeah. Yeah. An airstream would be awesome. Okay. Here we go. A DBSE done by someone else. <laughs> yeah. Done by someone else. That's a good brand. That's awesome. <laughs> That's a good brand. I love that one. Oh, here we go. Who, if you had to travel to either of these two, which would you go? This one or that one? Area 51 or Bermuda Triangle? Uh, well, if they let me in the buildings at the Area 51, it'd be there. I mean, like, it would be cool to see a spaceman. It would. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't want to get lost in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> you may never come back. Right. You may I never come back. Yeah, Area 51 would be fun if you could go in the buildings. Like, it'd be fun if you couldn't, if no, they wouldn't shoot at you and stuff, you know. Small things. Yeah, I would, I would go with that. I'm always afraid that, you know, we're not as smart as we really could be. Right. The aliens are much smarter than we are. And so, I'm so just... let me ask you this or that. Let me ask. I got a question. Would you had or rather have a, an apocalypse of zombies or an apocalypse of aliens? What would you zombies do? and a heartbeat? Me zombies. Too. I can outrun most zombies. <laughs> aliens are smart, man. Yeah. They, they had to travel from somewhere and it wasn't Topeka, Kansas. Right. So I'm just saying. I, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying too. I'd rather be a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, because I and I don't even know what I would. I, I have friends who are who are prepared for these things. Here we go, like friends, zombies. There you go. Um, yeah, yeah. Area 51 because I can't bring my RV to the ocean. Yeah, that that I'd is a thing. A, I'd be a put a big old post in the front of my van, with sharp point on it, and just drive it around, hitting zombies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Brandon says they've been the Bermuda Triangle a lot, and they want to go back out west to Area 51. Yeah. That'd be really cool. So Brad was in the Coast Guard, which is cool. So they've done a bunch of stuff. Very nice. All right, let's go to the next one. Here we go, guys. This is interesting because I these are two big areas that some people like really want to go do. So I, I keep hearing about these stories. I actually have a picture of a friend of mine smoking a cigar, sitting on a lawn chair during that last big Area 51 thing where people were running, racing in to go get that. And he was like, I'm good. I'll just watch. Yeah, I'll just watch this. I'll just watch. <laughs> I'll just watch. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Robin Jan came in. Hey, Robin Jan. Hey, Robin Jan. Thanks for being here. You guys are awesome. Uh, couch, because I can make it like a movie theater if I need be. There you go. Now, I'm not saying what this means, but it's in the theater or on the couch. Oh, well, yeah. Both. <laughs> if Jason's there. Could be watching Calm the movie. down. We had that Jason Momoa moment. Hold on. Hold that yeah. thought. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Oh my gosh. Did you hear how she took that south, guys? Did you hear that? She took this whole little thing south. I got cold water. So do you. We're like, mmm. Yep, cold water. Yep, yep. Couch. Here we go. They kicked me out of my favorite theater for sitting in my underpants. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, I have one guy's in his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Uh, pop popcorn, big screen, big sound. That is true. I do like the popcorn. I got to admit, like, I haven't seen a movie in so long. I really haven't. I went and seen Jason Momoa, the last movie I went and seen, uh, the new Aquaman. It was good. That would be good. That'd be really cool. Here we go. Uh, are we talking boom chicka, wow, wow, couch, or normal couch? Normal Get your mind out of the gutter, guys. Jeez. Wow. Simple question. Wow. Hmm. hmm. Ha, ha, ha. That's right. See? See? I love this. Bow wow. <laughs> I give them a question, they take it to the other side. I love I this. Okay, guys. Would you rather do a camping meetup on a beach or a camping meetup on the mountains? Mm. Oh, that's tough. Uh, that's a hard one, isn't it? I like both. <laughs> so I don't like the sand in my van. Yeah, Just that's. So that's a that's a true fact. There, sand in the van would be not good. 
No, no. I literally had to plug in my dust buster and recharge it like every other day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then you got bears in the mountains. Oh, that's okay. I put my food away. Okay. Just saying, I mean, you got to think about both, both things. So I'm, I'm curious as to what you guys think. Uh, she deals with mountains, mountains, yeah. mountains, 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 and then just jump in my car and drive to the beach. <laughs> there you go. Kevin says he's behaving well tonight. I don't think so, dude. I'm just saying. Mountains. I've never seen a night like that. I've, I, Ever. I, don't, I don't think it exists. Do you? I don't. No, nope. not a, not a behaving Kevin night. No, no. Jeez. No. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Deborah says uh, mountains chill on the beach for another day. You know, I only like the beach like either early in the morning or really late in the evening. Cause I hate that really, really hot day. It's yep. like not my jam. Plus I've already got the red hair and the white skin. I just burst into flames. I did like, poof. yep. Yep. Here we go. Love seven says uh, we live in the green mountains. So we go to the beach. Well, that makes sense. Well, there you go. I live in the mountains. Yeah. Grace says we can do that in Oregon, Gina. <laughs> Beach and mountains. I know that's what that's what's cool about here. I'm 60 miles from the coast, but I live at the bottom of a mountain. How nice is that? I like this. Uh, Tommy says I only like the beach when there are a few people. Yeah, it does get when it's crowded. It's a little weird thing. I, you know, Outer Banks was so popular when I was there last time that it was just like wall to wall people, and I, I'm just not big. I can people to a point, but it's a little much for me. Ugh. Not my favorite. Okay, you know what we're gonna do then? This makes sense because we're at that time. Yeah, I know this goes super fast. It's time for another one of these. Okay. Whew, guys, I hate to tell you, this is gonna be the fun one where you guys get to pick. I've got some new swag. Let me share my screen real quick. See if I can do this. Uh whoops, where is it? I just lost it. Hold on. I've only been doing this, you know, how many years? You think I know what I'm doing now. It's never that simple, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. well, that's not it. Hold on. Wrong one. Wrong one. It goes bye-bye. There we go. Try this one again. Um, we have new shirts that we're doing, which is way cool. And we have a new store, which I love. And there it is. Here we go. So we have men's shirts, women's shirts, you know, sex shirts. We've got hats. We've got uh, hoodies. We've got lots of really cool things here. I dropped the link. I actually pinned it in. I've even got little baby onesies, which sounds crazy, and tank tops, which is so much fun. But I do love Spreadshop. And if you guys haven't used Spreadshop in a while, I will say this. I have ordered almost every single thing they have on there to check the quality and their printing and what they're doing. And I've been wearing them for two years now, just checking out stuff because I'm looking. I'm always looking for something. And I really like these guys. So whoever wins this one is going to win a really cool uh, Spreadshop. I can't even say it. You get a new t-shirt. How's that? You're getting a new t-shirt. Yay. For free, which is fun. We'll mail it to you directly, which I really love. No, and not shorts, not shorts. Um, so let's do it. Let's do a giveaway real quick, guys. Here's what we're going to do. Um, let me get my giveaway tool again. Give me two seconds here. So, uh, did, I, did I spell it correctly? Always nice. And we're going to go with um, the word shop. And I'm going to share my screen again. And we will do that. And we're also going to bring up a friend before we do this, which I love this. It's so much fun. So, guys, all you got to do is type in the word shop, and we'll do another giveaway. And in the process of this, we're going to bring on another friend. <laughs> what up, Buttercup? My ah, band friend. Okay. What's going on? Yeah. The question earlier, DIY... DYI build the band. I would watch her build the band that I would want. That's the yes. route I would go. Yep, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, yeah. You you missed the good question. Do you want to you want to buy something from a factory built or will you want to DIY? And almost everybody said DIY. We're like, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm late. I the link the email said seven or eight to nine, and I thought you were on my time. It's okay. It's totally yeah. fine. I put Eastern because everyone it goes backwards on the Eastern thing, which is funny. Yeah. So no worries about it. we're it's Monday. We're just, we're going with the flow. I'm not on any big schedule. I've had a big birthday weekend. I'm just hanging with friends. Life is good. This is good. I'm not worried about it. When we're done with this, I have a question about a beach, but after the giveaway. Ooh. Okay. Beach, beach question. Here we go. All right, Johnny, I got to ask the question. Um, 
if someone wanted to do a DIY van build these days, what's your uh, pipeline looking like? My time frame. Yep. I'm scheduling for 2025 right now. Awesome. Um, uh, spring, summer, spring, summer. Okay. This is good because yeah. people are going to ask. I'm like, okay, I want to make sure yeah. I, I let people know what's going on. All right, guys, I think it's time we're going to draw. Hold on a second here. Let's draw a name. I'm going to give you one more second. Here we go, guys. It's a really good t-shirt. We're going to see who's going to win it. Yay. Here we go. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Oh, we see a jock. There you go. Very cool. I love this. So much fun. All right. Here's the deal, guys. You know how this works. So you've got to send me an email with where you want me to mail to, and I will send it to you all the way. Yay. And for t-shirts, I need size always. Just remind me and stick it on there. And, uh, We'll go from there. Congratulations. Or if you want Jacques to get a t-shirt, we could get Jacques shirt too. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Congratulations. All right, Gina, what do you want to tell us about a beach? Uh, I was going to see if you guys know where this beach is at. Let me see. This one. Do you know, do you know where that beach is at? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Yeah, Sorry. You do. let me know. Drop it. Drop me an email. Yeah, drop, yeah, drop. <laughs> If you know, Gina's going to want to know that. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm just, you know, I got the dog. That's all I need. I'm good. <laughs> I got four freaking cats. I got two $100 cats. I'll trade for a hundred dollar dog. Just kidding. Really? No, just kidding. just kidding. Yeah. We're, we were just talking about going for uh, some, some major uh, ve veterinary stuff going on this year. So um, Rosie's getting ready for her big, big follow up. So I'm like, Oh geez, that's going to break the bank. But you know what? You have a pet. That's what you do. you got a yep. pet. So Johnny, what's going on with you? Oh, you know what? I was at. I went home yesterday. My son's birthday was yesterday, yeah. and we celebrated his 24th birthday on the 24th in 2024. I believe they call that platinum. And um, so the whole family, including Dad, we all went out to dinner. And I just got back to the shop. I had a dentist appointment this morning, this afternoon, and I just got back to the shop. We just got putting up. Got done putting up one of those hundred thousand dollar bug walls. <laughs> yeah, those are there. You know what, though? I'll tell you what, from a bug girl who bugs love me, they're worth a million dollars. I don't yep. care. Yeah, it's they crazy. are. What, um, was it, was it an actual bug wall? Bug wall? It was uh, Van Essentials. Yeah, yep, yeah. Love those guys. Yeah, I am um, three of the bug walls, the actual bug walls. So they actually have them now for the Travato and the Thor sequence, which they didn't have before. Which is sort uh -huh. of like a weird, it's because it's this awkward, weird space because it doesn't go all the way across. Um, which I wouldn't mind if it went all the way across, quite honestly. I think it, but that's just me. But yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. All right. Uh, Gracie said, Jock has enough, enough clothes to wear. So that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> and that she loves her bug wall. Oh, I'm telling you, after being in Florida with no seams and mosquitoes, I think I need like a, a Kevlar or something. I don't know what it is. I don't, yeah. they just get in everywhere. It's insane. Gracie Absolutely. does being essentials as well. Yeah. Love those guys. Love, love, love. I, I think I, I'm going to work with them on a couple more things, which I love. Okay. We're going to do another, if I'm, if I, it's been a while since we did this game and Gina, if you want to stay, if you can, if you want to go down, that's fine. You just let me know. I am all about making your life easy today. Uh, we're just playing some silly done. games. Okay. I got to find, here we go. We're going to do this one. Okay, this we're gonna do a fill in the blank. Dangerous game. Fill in the blank. This is very dangerous. Yes. This could go any way. Any and I'm just way. saying, you guys with Johnny up here, it could get bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, Johnny, keep it clean. Just keep it clean. That's all we're saying. Here Absolutely. we go. Oh, geez. Okay, guys, here we go. First question. I slipped on a blank. This is your test question. This is an easy one, right, guys? I slipped on a blank in the bathroom causing me to hit my head on the tub. What did you slip on in the bathroom? I'm trying it. Uh, okay. And you, and you can make it funny, guys. You can totally make it funny. Have some fun. Don't, don't, don't get too serious with this. Oh, man. Great. And uh, Gina, you go first. <laughs> is, it, is it for the chat? It, oh, it's in the chat, too. Oh, yeah. People are in the okay. chat. What's going yeah. on, guys? <laughs> Maddie, stop it. Okay, so Rob, Robin Jan says, uh, you slipped on Jason Momoa. Yeah, slipped and fell. 
<laughs> That's just his uh, I like the oh, rubber guys. ducky. You say, oh, you're going to say rubber ducky? I like the rubber ducky answer. Rubber ducky. Yeah. I, I slipped on some poop. That's always good. Oh, oh no. That's Who a good missed? one. I like that one. Good. That's good. Question. Let's put you, we'll go, we'll go down here. We'll do this like, uh, let's see, uh, a bra. Bra is a good one. That's probably more realistic sometimes. A puddle of water. More rubber duckies. Banana peel. Chili Dale. Interesting. Well, I will tell you right now, I slipped over my own feet. How embarrassing is that? <laughs> I really, I did. I slept, I slept on my own feet and I, uh, this was what, three, uh, it's been a month ago, almost a month ago. I still have bruises on my thigh. It's insane. It's so embarrassing. Okay. Let me take this off for a little so, so we can see. All right, guys, let's go to the next one. Here we go. Here we go. Bed and you slipped on whipped cream. That would look bad when the ambulance got there. <laughs> cream in the Good bathroom. Time. Here. Uh, oh my gosh. Autocorrect. Chippendale. I slept on a Chippendale. <laughs> Chippendale. Chippendale. Cute. Okay. Here we go. Blank is the real reason I can't drive 55. For all my Sammy Hagar fans. No. Because I, I don't have my glasses. I can't see. Blank is the real reason I can't drive 55. I would say tequila. That would be me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boredom. Boredom. Boredom's good. Boredom's good. Uh, cruise control. Cruise control. Yeah. I used to drive truck for Swift. We couldn't get past 55. So we, there you we go. had us governed at 55. Lead, Lead foot, foot disorder. disorder. Oh, yeah. That's a serious disorder. <laughs> Only it's usually. Uh, my husband. husband. I'd have to go with the Kelly on that. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. The Popo. The Popo is the reason I can't drive. Popo. Oh, these are good. You guys are good. It's been a while since we've done these. Every once in a while, I'm like, I love this. Uh, Gracie Jack says, I have to drive 65 on cruise control, though. You know, I've, I've used my cruise control more than I ever have this year, especially in small towns. Go 65, 50, 45, 65, like if I'm going through. And actually, I love going through small towns, but I hate the speeds. It drives me insane. Here we go. The person in the passenger seat yelling at me to slow down. <laughs> uh, That's the real reason. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, we love cruise control. Yeah. All right, Gina, which one do you like the best? Um, I'm going to go with, uh, uh, the lead foot, the lead foot, lead foot disease. That is truly That's something, good. something in that. Mm -hmm. I think. That's a good one. You might okay. even make medication for that. Could be. I don't, I don't know. We could have a new disorder. Johnny, any new thoughts new on disorder. this? Yes. Oh uh, yeah. I'm <laughs> sure. I like the Popo one, I guess. Popo. Okay. Po okay. Yeah. Guys, we're. You guys are winning. This is good. I'm going to have to write these down on this one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Here we go. They had blank hanging outside their RV door for everyone to see on the highway. Underwear. <laughs> underwear. You were what drying you your underwear. You had under. You're, so you're saying underwear. Okay. Underwear. I have to, I have to say a thong. A nice. Thong. Nice. A thong. Undies, yeah. Yeah. I've seen that. Thong, 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 thong. Yeah. Undies, undies, undies. Pineapples. I love this. <laughs> Pineapples. <laughs> I saw a child's coat one time. Like just like the kid like must have shut the door and the whole coat's just dragging, like flopping at 50. The kid probably didn't want to wear a coat and was trying to figure out a way to get rid of the coat. So, oh, mom, I don't know where it went to. It's just, you know, on the hot, you know, surprise, surprise. Yep. That'd be funny. Yeah. I think Tommy's the number like, one thing flapping out of the cars has, has to be half of the seatbelt. It's yeah. like, you see I've that seen that. Coat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. passenger. Dirty laundry. La yeah, dirty underwear, probably. <laughs> Coffee Nut says they're passenger. I've had a few passengers I want to flop out the window. <laughs> oh man, I want an ejector seat. I really do. There, there are moments. passengers that are like trolls. Seriously. I'm like, why are you in my car, dude? Seriously. I don't want you here. Brand says Thunderwear. 
I love this one. It looks like underwear. It looks like the underwear wins it on this one. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one, guys. I can't believe that she asked for blank on her birthday. <laughs> For Chippendales. <laughs> my kids want to know what I want to do for my birthday. It was sort of funny, Johnny. And I'm always like experiences over stuff. Like I don't need more stuff. I got, I got enough stuff, right? I end yeah. up getting some stuff for my birthday. And I'm actually really happy. I'll have to show you what it is in a minute. It's really cool. Really awesome. Okay. Uh, Jason Momoa. <laughs> she asked for Jason yeah. Momoa on the birthday. Several of them. Yeah. Her free fast. Yeah. Bamboo pillows. <laughs> hey, Johnny Lightning, thanks for being here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, all those candles. Tons of candles. I think that brings us back to a Jason Momoa sandwich. Very good, get her better. <laughs> Circle it back. Circle it back, baby. Love this. Circling back. Undies. The Momoa it. experience. Undies. Undies. Oh, a small appliance for her birthday. Oh, that might be, uh, that could be bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna say. Yeah, true story. Appar apparently, the bamboo pillows were a true story. So that's what she wanted for her birthday. Says Giant Lightning. I love that. <laughs> that's really cool. I love this. Okay, so here's what I got for my birthday. Hold on a second. Let me take. Let me take this out. You guys are gonna laugh. I met the only owner of, of in North America. Of a cigar box guitar factory. Oh, those are awesome. And oh, he makes cool. art guitars. And they're amazing. And I yeah. sat for two hours on my birthday and played this in a room full of complete strangers and had a fantastic time. But wait, it gets better. It's amplified. Nice. And he oh. made a cigar box amplifier. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? That's How cool is cool. that? So way now I have the challenge. Now I have the challenge of like learning like six to 10 songs so I can play around the campfire because it is they, pretty freaking cool. The company gave that to you. We're going to go with that. Oh, that's nice. No, I want, no, I actually, this is a, it, it was one of those things where I wanted to have the experience. I want to support local craftsmen. I'm a huge proponent of supporting local artists. The guy who, the, the couple that owns the store, he's actually an engineer by day. Welcome to rocket city. I live in Huntsville. Um, so he's an engineer by day and they fell in love with this guitar store and the owner wanted to sell it. And so he and his wife bought it and he makes art guitars. He does a lot of really cool things like that. So my son, Lucas and I went, cause Lucas is my little uh, musician guy. We had a great, great time, but um, yeah, I just want to support it. And they actually have a cigar box festival. Who knew? Wow. Sort of cool. Yeah. Love Did this. Did you know there is an air guitar contest a national? Really? Air guitar? Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. That'd be really cool. Yeah. I'd be really tearing cool, yeah. it up. I've never seen yeah, I never I've never seen one too. It's a it's a Zeno Nicaragua 25 Robusto cigar made from. It's really right. cool. And when you're done, you can smoke it. You can smoke it. Is it a right. four string or a five string? Uh three string. Yeah. Three, three string. Oh yeah. wow. And it's and it's open tuned, so you can pretty much do anything. I think it's easier than a ukulele. So you know, if, mm. if I'm saying that, then anyone can do this. I love it. Um wait, I wait, I heard you got an aquarium. Uh, okay. We're going to bring this up. I just, I'm, what did I do with it? I don't even think I have it around me right now. Someone, and I'm not saying who, everyone knows I love goldfish crackers. I eat them all day. I pick, 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 pick. I got 12 gallon boxes of goldfish crackers. 12 <laughs> gallon boxes of goldfish crackers. Now, I live in a tiny place, very tiny. Think van like very tiny, right? So I'm not saying who it was. I'm just saying, Thank you for the goldfish. That was very thoughtful. But 12 is a lot. <laughs> String them and hang them from the ceiling. I'm just saying, geez, guys. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. Close. Close. I love this. All right, guys. Let's get back. Let's get back to our uh, our regularly scheduled program here, guys. Hold on a second. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, it is an awesome inst instrument. I'm really excited about it. Okay. Um, so, yes, I got, a, I got a cigar box guitar. I didn't even have to smoke the cigars. Yay me. Nice. Okay, here we go. The exotic food dish of blank was his great aunt's favorite. Ooh. The exotic food dish of blank was his great aunt's favorite. Oh, that's tough. Could be Vegemite if you're in Australia. Could be lionfish if you like sushi. This Could big be... Hat. Let's see what you guys have in the chat. Let's see what you guys come up with. Caviar. 
about as exotic as I get is a burger and fry. No, yeah. I, I <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, Robin's Rob, Rob, gonna pierogies out here. There you go, pierogies. Those are good. Pierogies are great. And Thrifty Angel's here. Hey, Thrifty Angel, thanks for being here. Hey, Thrifty Angel. So Let's see, caviar. Caviar. That's nice. There we go. Ooh, um, fried crickets. Hey, they make they sell powdered crickets on Amazon. They do. Yeah. I, what are you going to do with a powdered cricket? I not not for me. They're they're not for not human my consumption. It says. Oh yeah, well they they do. They sell them in the in the kids' toy stores of different flavors. I've seen them. Uh, Broken Nerman says I'll be out of the goldfish by the end of the month. I don't think so. It's going to take me a little while. I'm just saying. Uh, gator. Okay. I've had goat and raccoon. Gefilte fish. <laughs> 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 Exotic chicken nuggets. There you yes. go. There you go, Johnny. Yes. Spam musabi. <laughs> Interesting. Spam on a stick on the campfire. That's pretty good. If you oh, burn it. If you TNT burn sandwich it. from D'Angelo. Yeah, guys. Sorry. Um, we're fried alligator. Hmm. What do you think? What do you guys think is the best one? Uh, fried alligator. A couple of them, I don't know what they are. How about calamari? Do you want calamari? Is I, I think Squid. exotic chicken nuggets is probably the win. Exotic chicken nuggets. I think that's <laughs> yeah. I think that's pretty good. I like that one too. Is calamari squid or octopus? Uh, it is squid because octopus is really yeah. here's here's the problem. Octopuses are really smart. We shouldn't be eating octopus. No, in general. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, like, if I was in a Donner situation, I wouldn't eat my smart friends. Thank you. We need them around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this is scary. I'm, I'm not going to take an IQ test anytime soon. Okay, here we go. What do we have next? Oh, here we go. Who knew you could suck up a blank with a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> I, I, have a, I, I have a shot back that'll suck a golf ball through a water hose. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what happened in my house after we answer this one because we really did use a vacuum cleaner for something which I think is funny. Okay. Uh James Squared said I would not eat my smart friends either. Smart. That's a smart thing to say. Yeah, that's a smart thing to say. Yeah, and it's about time said I agree with no eating octopus. They're way too smart. Yeah, I, <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah. Um Brian says a bowling ball. A bowling yes. ball, let's see. An elephant. Elephant, yeah. Broken Nomad's being censored. Yeah, we may have to just give you a time out there, but if you're going to go there. Uh, marbles. Love that. Uh, my couch. How big is your couch? Right. How big's the vacuum? Oh, here's this is better. Who knew you could suck up my hopes and dreams? Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer for Angela and say a bottle of wine. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. There you go. Bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah. I've I've been. She's been on a live where she lost a bottle in the couch somehow. How did you, really? Seriously? Yeah. She was on a live on Meant to Be RV and she lost she lost a bottle of wine in the couch. I think something like that. I've I have lost. Well, Miss Snorri McGee back here is snoring. I know you guys can't hear it, but it's sort of funny. Um, she's officially hit senior stage of dogdom. And now I'm like sitting here going, when did I get a snoring dog all of a sudden? Like, I feel like um, Tommy from River Sticks, whose dog just snores loudly in the background. Yep. Like, okay, that's all I need. I love this. I had all a right. couch that dipped down so low when you said, and I'd always ask people that I didn't want to leave very quickly to sit there. They always had trouble getting out of it. It was, it was the trap couch. <laughs> okay. She's admitting it. She's yep. It was a long day and I'll admit that. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> it was I a love long it. Day. I love it. Okay, guys, we got one more giveaway today. Oh my gosh, we get more giveaways. This is fun. I love giving away stuff. It's, it's like the best favorite part of my day. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Okay. So what do you guys think I should give away? This could be fun. We're not giving away the guitar and I'm keeping the dog. What do you think? <laughs> Goldfish. Goldfish. I can give away goldfish. Yeah, <laughs> goldfish. Yeah, yeah, goldfish. 
I need to be sponsored by Pepperidge Farm. I'm just saying, this is a thing, guys. It's totally a thing. We need a uh, we need Pepperidge Farm to give me a call. Just call me. Right. I got your extra stuff. Um, okay, so let's do. Let's do. Okay, TNT RVing says they want a hat. All right, let's do a hat. That's what I think. That's a great idea. No, we're not doing a class CRV. Sorry, I'm not giving that away today. Another day, maybe. If I ever get sponsored, oh, there's the hat. Yay! They're cool. I'm just saying. Got to win them. Got to win them to get them. I know. <laughs> I don't wait. Do you like these hats though, Johnny? Aren't they cool? Yeah. Yeah. They're actually really good. I actually I like wore it the other day. It's uh yeah. You know how the like a lot of these are stiff? Yeah. This one's this one's nice. This one's okay. nice. Is it I think it's ironed on? Uh yeah, yeah. this one's this yeah, one's the a, hat oh. is the hat is soft too. Yeah. And the first and you get it, and the first thing you have to do is bend the bill. Yeah, I'm looking for one. Uh, I'm looking for a company to make the hat. Hang on, and I'll show you. Go ahead with your giveaway, but I'll show you the hat I'm looking for. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, here she goes. I'm looking for a hat the company that makes the hats of this shape. Okay, that. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah, that, I, yeah. I, I, I ordered this one off of Amazon, but I like this shape of hat. Interesting. Well, I've been I've been doing hats and t-shirts for years now, which is okay. The word is hat. Yes. What is the word hat? It spells like hat, not bat, not cat, not that, but hat. H A T. Yeah. Not hot, not tot. Hat. That's what <laughs> hat. You guys kill me with all this good stuff. Yeah. Um, I am I've been I've been digging it. When I I worked with the local company in town, um, I wanted to work work with them and do something really interesting. I didn't really want my name on it per se. I just thought it would be fun to have my tagline on it. Yeah, it's just so generic, but it's people would actually wear it and it's fun. So, um, and if you have a, you know, RV and you're camping, who doesn't need a good hat? I exactly. Mean, I love a good hat. All right, and not fat. No, not fat. Oh my gosh, it's got the nice clasp on the back. Yeah, I yeah. like those clasps. I'm not. I. I mean, for my for my peeps, I go all out, guys. I'm just saying, I don't like wimp out on these things. I'm not going to get you good stuff. Um, once again, for you guys that are new who just joined, real quick, let you know, um, it's official. As much as I've been waiting and, and wondering what to do about this, we have officially made a uh, membership for my channel. And what we're going to do with the membership is really cool because we're going to be doing this really big project uh, with van stuff for the next two years. I've got a two year series we're going to do on this. I'm really excited about it. So uh, I've been working through my calendar and some stuff. And um, Johnny, I'm looking to get those those Razorback from Van Upfitters on the back of my doors. As much as I hate to say it, I'm going to need to do something and I might get a monster box. So um, that's going to be probably on my, my wish list in the next month. Nice. We'll see how, how, how long it, it lasts <laughs> before my van <laughs> dips down. When it goes, whoo, a little worried about the weight. We'll see. Okay. Brian says, chapeau. No, we're doing hat. You're killing me, guys. Cat in the hat. No, 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 no. Yeah, Johnny, are you yawning? Are you tired, Johnny, tonight? They're saying you're yawning. You know what? I don't actually know what's going on. I really am. I literally have probably just yawned like nine times. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just keep yawning. I normally yawn when I drive. I think it's a, there's a pitter-patter rain on the roof, and I think it's I think it's making me tired. Yep, it happens. It, it really does. Okay, guys, uh, let's do the giveaway. Here we go. We're going to... Drum roll, please. Dun, dun, dun. I love this. I love this. I love this. No whammies, no whammies. No whammies. <gasps> oh, my gosh. He wanted a hat. It's You're a getting hat. a hat, buddy. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, dude, you got to email me. Give me an address to send this to because I know you wanted one. You were, you were begging uh, last week. You were so mad you didn't get one. So you're getting a hat. Congratulations. There you go. Very cool. Very, very cool. I love that. That is funny. All right. Let me move this out. The things you got to do, I'm telling you. Okay, so uh, things that got sucked at my vacuum cleaner. So my kiddo was trying to get a fly out of the house and didn't want to smush it. I didn't want him to smush it on my wall. So he literally went with the vacuum cleaner trying to suck it up. <laughs> nice. That's a good <laughs> idea. That makes sense. That makes sense. I like that. We're going to say congratulations. Yay. Yay. Very cool. And he's like, finally. You just got to be, got to come. Got to do the lives. That's how you do it. You don't, you, you don't play, you can't win. 
Okay. Her childhood dream of becoming a blank finally came to reality. Bank robber. Just, bank robber? You said bank robber? <laughs> I like that. I was going to say stripper, but that wouldn't work. I, that's what I was going to say. Stripper. Uh, All right, now, Gina, now we call them accountants. Uh, <laughs> accountants. <laughs> Let me count those dollar bills. <laughs> Credit card slide, slide denied. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Grandma. There we go. Construction worker. Very nice. Mrs. Mrs. Momoa. Mrs. Momoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lady of the night. On Momoa. Love this. Retiree. Oh, you know what? There's three, li there's three little words that everyone wants to hear. I'll retire you. <laughs> That's it. That's all we want. Um, mermaid. Mermaid, I love this. This is fun. Hey, Mark. Hey, man. You're you're not late. You're just on time. Don't worry about it because we're just having fun. Having a good time. Uh, thanks for being here, buddy. Hope you're having a great day. Listen, I made reservations for the YouTuber Jamboree today, so I'm going to be there in October in South Carolina. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what's going on down there. Is Casey uh, Nia yeah. going to be there? I, I'm sorry. What is Casey Neistat going to be there? Wouldn't that be fun? I'd be happy if if uh, Casey and Sunshine Band were there. I'd be happy for Casey Nice that that'd be sick. He's really cool. Really cool. Uh, let's see. And Tolt's not all it's cracked up to be. Let's see. Van Dweller. Okay, there you go. Yeah. A van lifer. Okay. What is the one thing that takes the most time living in a van or, or traveling in a van as opposed to living in, say, a residence? What's the one thing that you that shocked you about taking the most time? Dishes. Dishes? Yeah. See, I have to agree. Dishes is a bang. Making a bang. But yeah. I think it is. I have a good way of doing them now, but if it's something that burnt on or you know, something that uh, messy, I cook a lot of one pan meals and I got some pans you just wipe out, but dishes are the worst. Yep. Okay. What is your secret secret to dishes if you're boondocking? Do you guys have any boondocking secrets? My secret to dishes, one pan meals, a bottle of vinegar water, yep. and paper towels. Yep. yep. I'm, now, I'm now queen of spray bottles. Yeah, yeah I, I have a spray, spray bottle bottles. with vinegar water in it. Yep. yep. That's, That's what I do, too. Vinegar yep. water. And, and those, I, I'll, I'll tell you what else things. I do. Like, say I've got company, and, I, I, and I'm not going to wash the dishes right away. If whatever I eat, I'll try and take a paper towel and wipe it out before I put it in the sink yep. so that, oh, man. <laughs> so Ooh. that I don't, um, <laughs> yeah, so it's easier later. Yep. Yeah. Somebody just brought me French toast. <gasps> what? Aww. Oh, that's so awesome. How cool is that? That is. Yeah, yeah. Robert Jan here. talk about dishes and vinegar and water. Um, it is a pan that you know what I'm telling you. That that is one of the things that I thought. Yeah. I well the, now you know uh, the hex clad pans. I use a hex clad pan like the okay. ones that Gordon Ramsay. Those really wipe out if you season them right. They really do just wipe out with a paper towel. And I don't even use vinegar water on them. Just water. Just so, water. Yeah, um, but not much water. I, 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 yeah, I, I there's um, I was talking to people who were having the whole whole shower conversation, um, because I boondocked for nine oh, days. Yeah. Shower is easy. Okay, what's your secret, Gina? The deck that A Johnny deck? built me in the summer. <laughs> the deck that Johnny built me uh, is where I take my shower in the summer. I just open my door and I have a curtain that hangs on the door to the side of the van take a shower right there and then inside i use the same i use a usb shower head i heat up some water put it in a bucket i can shower with two gallons of water easy a gallon if i have to okay, or that's the ymca yeah i was gonna say i i'm i'm i have mixed feelings on planet fitness and i gotta tell you why this is sort of interesting i love me a planet fitness it's been fantastic and i, I think they're great except I don't want to put my stuff here and take a shower there 
Like it's not in the same space. Like when you go to state parks, you know, like you can put your, your bag here while there are toy trees and, da, 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 and your towel and your clothes. And so you're like mm -hmm. all in one space. So all your stuff is there. But in plant fitness, it's like the showers across a three foot spot from your stuff. Oh, she's shaking it. Wait, you're eating. Wait, it sounds you know like. What, you know what you should do is like when I go to plant and fitness, I've got one of those S hooks. Yeah. And yep. I put my hook on a rod. I put my backpack on the hook mm -hmm. and then my toiletry bag has a hook on it as well. Okay. So I hook that over the backpack. So I've got my, I throw my towel over the door mm -hmm. so you can immediately put your dirty clothes in one of the compartments in your bag and you don't even have to leave your shower. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's YMCA, YMCA is well. I go swimming at the Y, so I'm already wet. So I just go in and take when I get in the shower, just hang my clothes up. They have a hook right there by the shower where I hang my backpack and shower off, and everything's in my backpack. And yeah, I like it like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's that's one of the biggest complaints, and I hear people talk about it all the time is the fact that you know you're right. If you have an if you can come up with a plan, you know mm -hmm. of how you can keep all your stuff together because. Yeah. um there was a movie that just came out on Netflix not too long ago with, um, oh, and I can't think of her name from Hunger, Hunger Games. Uh, actress, won Oscar. What's her name? Not Kristen Stewart. It's, um, oh, what's her name? Can't think of her name. She's funny. Anyways, she has a naked scene. Let's just put it to you like this. She jumps out from ski dipping in the ocean and runs after someone who takes off with her backpack. Like, I don't give a crap. Like, you're going to see me. I don't care. I thought about that in the back of my head going, if someone were to take my backpack, would I be cool enough to just go racing through Planet Fitness naked? <laughs> I was like, Let me think I'd about it. it. I'd be running after him throwing stuff. Anything I could pick up, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, one of the easiest things that I've been doing as an add-on is outdoor showers. It's just a little, like the little thing is not $35. I have been adding that to almost every build that I've done, probably for the last three, four, five builds. Yeah. Is it's literally just adding just a little bit of plumbing and then they've got an outdoor shower out their back door. So what are people using to step on to take that shower? Are they, are they getting like a little you um you can I'm use one of those roll teak mats, you can yep. you know put a um you know whatever you use for your welcome mat inside the door, mm -hmm. you can do that. You know, I've you seen, can, I've seen you can little little um like put little wood on forms that they that are made for, like a, they're made for that. They're about yay big. You can stand on them and they, they're out of the dirt about that much. And it's yeah. like a, it's like pretty wood. It's, I don't know what kind of wood is bamboo maybe or something. Mm -hmm. It's teak mat it, probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And just stand on that. Yeah. I, I love, I, ever since uh, speaking of band essentials and those guys, I mean, I know they had a really nice system that would cover up not just the front, but they yeah. did the sides, you know, when the doors, the little sliver where the doors are open. So the wind, yep. so the, the deck I have is perfect to stand on. The water goes off of it and I'm, I'm in flip flops anyway. So there yeah. you go. Yep. There you go. You're done. You're there done. You I know. I love this. Now what's uh, really, what's really bummer. If I don't, if I, for, I have only had to charge my shower battery twice since I've had it on the USB mm -hmm. shower head. I got out there, got all set for my shower and turned it on and the battery died. I'm like, Oh, Oh, had to start all over again. <laughs> I love that. that. Hey, Javel, thanks for being here. Shout, shout out to the panel and here on the chat box. Fantastic. Always love that. Yeah. Those outdoor showers are fun. If you can, I mean, if as long as you don't have the crazy wind, like you said, or like you, you got something, I, I'm all down for it. Um, Robin Jan says they wear their Crocs in a shower at Planet Fitness or any public shower. Yeah. I, 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 you say, I thought you said something else. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> No, no, get your mind out of the gutter. Jeez, I think we had what? <laughs> what? Oh, no, no. I love this. And Brian, Brian Mansky, bless his heart, was saying something about a um a I, I, I did realize the other day I <laughs> I want it felt warm enough outside to take a shower. So I set up uh, yeah, 59 degrees is not warm enough for an outdoor shower. Nope. No. <laughs> I got out there. Oh shit. Dang. So um so Johnny, I know you're in Missouri. I want to know real quick, are you, are you being in a day with people who want to see the eclipse on April 9th? Is it uh, April 9th? The campground, I've got about three people reserved yeah. already, like two on hip camp and one on harvest toast. Yep. And yeah. then Fred Rock Glam Ground is pretty booked as well. So, yeah. That's going to be a thing. I know I've got, I've got photographer friends who are like, let's go take pictures. And yep. I'm sort of like, well, I, 
I actually am sort of interested this year because can I've you been, see it there better? There's are you how, how many minutes do you guys have? Are you two or three minutes? Do you know? No, we're four. You got the four. You got the totality. Yeah, Missouri's four. four. I'm pretty sure where I'm at, it's four. Is what yeah. we were told. Yeah, St. Louis. You guys are right underneath that St. Louis thing. Yep. So Whatever, yeah. Johnny. Whatever. What? <laughs> I think we are. Yeah. Yeah. I'm look. I'm looking at Arkansas or Texas. Like that. It's where we're the closest where I am right now. But still, yeah. gonna be like a seven hour drive. No matter what I do, it's a seven lot hours. of people are going to Texas. I can tell you that. Yeah, it's insane. Arkansas. Nobody wants to go to Arkansas. I'll go there. <laughs> Oh, right. Oh, no. Uh, Arkansas already, Arkansas and I think Oklahoma already, they already did like that um, uh, state of emergency so yeah. that they would get extra police, extra. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. The TNT is yeah. like, oh, hi. Cool. Yeah. I know it's, it's going to be a little crazy. I want, what I want to do, it's not that I want to see it. That sounds really weird. I want to experience it watching either other people because I want to video, video the, the expression or I want to watch the nature, what happens in nature for those, those four minutes. So I want to do a video of that. I don't really need to do the, the video to do like that thing. I'm cool with that. I've seen, been there, done that. I just want to do something a little different with video. So if you look see. at my Facebook from the 2017 eclipse, what I like is capturing that diamond ring. That's what I oh. like. The, the, the stages, I did that, yeah. but I had my, my big camera set up and I had like probably seven people around me just watching my screen it was incredible it was incredible the pictures are phenomenal yeah and the fact really that cool. we get to experience twice in our lifetime i know well and i think it's i think we also have the 200 the crazy convergence of 200 year locusts like two major lo it's gonna be a bug year guys if you don't know right now locusts are coming cicadas are coming yeah it's gonna yep. be crazy yeah uh it says path of totality you didn't say it's in your backyard dude just i'll come over for dinner what the heck i'll just drive to ohio Jeez, how nice yeah. is that yeah that, that's a big question people want to know so um other than dishwashing and showers i mean we've got three crazy van chicks on up here do you guys have any van questions because this is a good time to bring them up because right. after my uh, my boondocking experience i've learned a lot more than i've ever wanted to you know what shocks me about how much i have to vacuum Every oh yeah and day i mean like every day and with animals but still God. yeah I'm, 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 with the cats how, too. how do you clean out this sounds crazy how do you clean out your max air vent or do you clean out your max the, the, do you get things stuck being sucked up you know what gina were you going to answer that i don't have a max air vent I'll tell you what I do, and it's and it works out perfect. Is the Max Air um, has a removable screen on it? Okay. But you don't always have to remove that. Take some like Clorox wipes, and once a week, take Clorox wipes and just kind of wipe the screen. Don't push too hard because it is kind of you know on there with yeah. adhesive. Yeah. So if you keep it clean on a weekly basis. But it still gets like oils in that from the steam of the stove or whatever. Yep. Pop that screen off and you can take an Allen wrench that comes with your fan and unscrew one screw and that the blades will come out, soak them in soapy water. Good to go. Yep. 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 It's a thing. I mean, I use my, air, my, my Max Air vent all the time. And so that's why I was like seeing her going, God, that thing is filthy. Like, what the heck? Yeah, they get dirty quick. Yeah. And with, with, with cat hair and dog hair, you know, think about pets and things like that. I mean, I feel like it, I, it reminds me of like a, a like a lint, like a, when you're in the dryer getting your lint thing out. <laughs> you're like, right? what, you, what the heck is in this yep. thing? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, J Rob and Jane have to go. Thanks so much for being here, guys. It said they use wipes across the screen. Exactly. Clorox wipes. That's good. Yeah, it's good to know. Yep. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, I'm trying to. Um, I also had a plastic... It's plastic, guys. Gotta love it. Like a push vent in my bathroom where you push it up. It's got a little fan there. Uh -huh. I forgot to pull it down one time and I took off and I burned the motor because it was, it felt like it was like spinning a thousand oh. miles an hour. And here go, here comes the amp part. And when I pulled it down, the actual uh, latch would go down, broke in half. It's plastic, popped in half. I thought, oh, I'll just get super glue, glue it back together, right? I'm making fine noises. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> it lasted. For a day. So now I got to figure out what kind of adhesive 
I should use because it isn't really easy to replace. I don't know if I need to get like a, I'm not thinking JB Well, but something specifically for plastics. Because the one thing I'm doing differently that I've never done before is I'm keeping my van temperature neutral because I've let it go to some extremes and I'm trying to keep it. I'm very, very conscious now about the temperatures in, in my van. So um, I've had to replace the armrests because the, the pleather has peeled off because of the temperature extremes or um, a few other things. So it's a goal. Okay. Get her, I mean, get her, better, happen. Get her better has a question. Favorite get her better. Season? Favorite season for Van Life? Mine is spring. Yeah, spring or fall. I'm good either way. Yeah, spring yeah. or fall because it's, you don't need anything to keep you hot or cool or cold yeah. or warm, you know? I would rather do fall or winter, honestly. Really? But it's a bug thing for me. I oh. just, yeah. Bugs are not bad here where I'm at in Oregon. Bugs are not bad. Bugs yeah, I would. Um, I've, I've got friends who want me to go up to Oregon, Oregon and Washington State. Because apparently you guys don't have the bug problems. Yeah, yeah. I would like that. I have I, people that bug me in here in Oregon, but no bugs. No bugs. I know. Lily T says, congratulations. Thank you so much, Lil. And Mark says, spring and fall for me. Yeah, I, I think the, the shoulder seasons are the best. They really are. They're really cool. Well, guys, we are over time. And uh, I know there's some people going on after us, which is fun. But I appreciate you ladies up here. It's always a good time. We're like a perfect trifecta. And is that is that? Maddie, Maddie Till. Maddie's not like, oh, oh, till I said, hey. Um, I promise not to rock out on the guitar like Blind Views does uh, until I'm actually ready. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> not going to happen, guys. Sorry. Um, any last words? I'm going to let you guys chime out first. G Gina, anything? Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for all you do. Johnny. And I got here late. Congratulations on 1 million views. Thank yeah, you. I appreciate you guys. I really, really no do. Small no, are fantastic. Fans, yeah. You were definitely an inspiration. That's that's for sure. So uh, everybody in the chat, you guys have been fantastic. And uh, we will see you tomorrow night. We're going to do a, a nice little interview with some people. We're going to talk about um, RV resources. And until then, see you later. <laughs>